you are listening to Pooty Potty, Pooty Pooty Potty, Girls on the Street, Girls on the Street, Pod Fiction, Pooty Pooty Potty. <laughs> Most of our best stuff is indeed stolen. <laughs> Indie stolen? That's cool. <laughs> not Indian stolen. Not oh, that kind of stolen. Like not Burial Ground type of thing? No, no. We Every don't. good movie is based on Indian Burial Ground. Not true. 100% true. Mm. Name me a good movie. <laughs> okay. Inception. Where do you think they had the dreams? Okay, an all right. Indian burial all right, all right. I'm gonna test that again. Here we go. Titanic. Titanic. Where do you think they the boat crashed? Okay. Indian burial ground underwater. Okay. It makes sense. Okay. I got another one for you. I got another one for you. Avatar. Avatar. Where do you think the planet they went to actually was? Pandora. Yeah, but was it based off of? Oh, checks out. Checks out. I am. Do, do, do some, some fucking research. research. Come to the fucking show. Do you feel that? That's my cock on your buns. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, dude. It's me. I'm just trying to rake you up. Rake You're you trying up. to Ah, <laughs> oh, no, don't do it. Just, I'm raking you. <laughs> oh, Morty. I'm just raking these leaves. Oh, Rick. All right. I'm going to flip for who's going to do the story first, right? So what is today's story anyways? Today's theme is monsters and minstrels. Who came up with that idea? Uh, you? I did. You did. I did. Good. I came up with that I answered work. right. <laughs> I just wanted a song where I could, or I just wanted a story where I can sing more. Nice. But now my throat hurts, so I don't want to sing, but I'm gonna, but I wrote like seven songs in here. But you better sing them. I'm gonna have to sing. I'm gonna flip this time. I think it's that I flipped. Do you want to be, uh, General Zhao, or do you want to be... I want to be five. Alrighty. Ooh. So... Do you want to share your story first? Because last time you, you went first last time, I think. I want to go first. All right, go ahead. You don't want to or you do want I to? I want to go. Okay. Why do all my stories start with like a long, long time ago? <laughs> Cause that... I don't think I have anything in present time. Well, because it like, you know, it gets you ready. Yeah, it's like, oh, it, it doesn't have to make sense. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a long time ago. I don't get it. No. Things were different back then. Oh, you you bet your sweet potatoes they were. <laughs> all right. Um, so let's start off with the name of your story. Um, as of like every story, I never have an actual name, <laughs> but I'm gonna call this the Llama Llama Mon. <laughs> Llama Llama Mon. <laughs> in, in hopes that one day my dad comes back. The real Llama Llama Mon. La, 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 he, he went into a carnival and it just never came out. Yeah. He became part of it. Yeah. So. Alright, you're up. Oh, oh yeah. It's story time. <laughs> <clears throat> Is everybody? Re- are you ready? For I'm this? ready for this. Okay, because yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Should I cue the? Intro? I haven't even reread this story, so and I oh, I wrote this like days ago. This is gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> A long, long time ago, before <laughs> cell phones and TV, way before Slim Shady was Eminem, <laughs> there was one thing that always kept humans amused, and that was music. This story takes place over a thousand years ago, and it. All starts with a man named Little Nicky. <laughs> Our pal here, Little Nicky, was a young man, not older than 20 years of age. What he lacked in size, he made up with an amazingly beautiful voice. People from all the villages come around to hear this young man sing and play his classical, not acoustic, <laughs> classical guitar. Most of his songs were... <laughs> Were then thousands of years later stolen by Fallout Boy. <laughs> Makes sense. I, it, yeah, I've obviously. actually heard that. Yeah, that checks out. So the stage was lit, fam, and people were drinking their grog and jammy to a little Nicky. <laughs> jammy to a little <laughs> Nicky. <laughs> little Nicky, sweet song. When Rome in ruins. We are the lions, free from the coliseums. In boys and blazes, we are anti-venom. <laughs> we are the beginning of the end. And then the crowd was all like, ah! I love this one! Oh my god, it doesn't make sense! <laughs> and then the fairest maiden of them all. And <laughs> and he, he knew he must have had her. But... <laughs> What? <laughs> the fairest maiden in the law, and he knew he must have her. Yeah, well, she's hot. But as she shit. wasn't wasn't like normal hot. She was like Stacy's mom hot. Oh shit! And we all know Stacy's mom had it going on. Unfortunately for Stacy, she did not <laughs> have it going on. 
<laughs> Stacy had a case of yeah. the reverse pigmentation. Yeah. And she fell into a deep depression that she never got over. Oh my god, that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> after the show, he he ran after this maiden. Miss, miss, what is thou name? Lil Nicky says to her. She turns, thou name is Christina. <laughs> Thou art the boy with the silver tongue. <laughs> she had a lip. <laughs> <laughs> the silver tongue. Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Little Nicky flicks his hair back and tells her, uh, We're going down, down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll be your number one with the bullet. <laughs> a loaded gun cock. <laughs> Christina looks at little Nikki with a weird look on her face. I have no fucking eye clue <laughs> <laughs> what you just said, but I love it. <laughs> she says, <laughs> "Little Nikki flicks his hair out of his eyes about six about six more times over again." Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and then again, <laughs> he flicks his hair once more. Yeah, I'm working on some pretty breakthrough shit. <laughs> he says. As the fair maiden walks away, she tells him, Be at my cabin at sundown if you want to lick the horse throb, which is fucking gross. <laughs> Old times were weird, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nikki instantly got a day boner, which sucks because they're hard to hide. So the moon dith set, and outside her cabin was Sir Little Nikki, and he looked cool as fuck. And he started, he started most trends. Some aren't even found yet, like the reversible tie. Some just found, like the fidget spinners. <laughs> made out of wood and teeth. Human teeth. <laughs> what else have they made out of? Obviously. <laughs> Fuck. So Nicky busted out his 14th string guitar. Like I said, he started a lot of trends. <laughs> so he played the first thing that came to his head. <laughs> I don't remember this. Is how this song goes. <laughs> What? I don't even think this is a follow-up voice. Just, it is a follow-up voice. I just don't remember how it goes. I should have brushed up on this. I don't care what you think as long as it's about me. The best of us can find happiness in misery. That's the oh, yeah. I don't care what you think as long as it's about me. <laughs> That's a different song. <laughs> I don't know where you're going, but you, you got I room for that. one more. That's the song he sang to her. <laughs> That's the song he sang. Fuck it. It's, it's canon. canon. It's, it's canon. canon. James song the sounded. math is there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then Nikki flips his hair like a fucking pimp. And then he, the cabin door busts open, and it's Christina being held by this llama hybrid human, Ew. which then looks at Nikki. Nikki, you've gone way too fast for way too long, and you were never supposed to make it this far. That is also a follow up by lyric. I don't doubt it. <laughs> I don't doubt it. And then the llama man slits her throat. Oh, he, shit. Yeah. I Holy just... shit. That fucking took a fucking left turn. Dude, it's not good. <laughs> Nikki runs to, to catch her while she falls. Please don't die, says Nikki. Then Christina look, took her final breath and died. Super fucking depressingly. Like Han Solo. That depressing. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I almost cried, dude, when that yeah. happened. I was like, oh, not Han. Not Han. Take you, but you Take leave me, Han. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He didn't understand what he was saying anyways. <laughs> now no one's going to understand what the fuck he's saying. Okay, back. Nikki holding Christina's dead body. Looks up. Kind of like Anakin style. Evil Anakin style. Like, like evil Anakin style. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah Hello, the, Mark. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Evil, evil Llama standing above Nikki. I have lived so much life, I don't even believe God could kill me. Enjoy your night, minstrel, says the llama. Oh, shit. More follow-up (laughs) lyrics. Nikki holding back tears. I will defeat you, monster, with my rock. You will see. The llama looks back while he lights a smoke, obviously, because he's fucking cool as shit. (laughs) I was young and a menace once. Keep me down, your... (laughs) going to have to kill me twice (laughs) keep me down you're gonna have to kill me twice and then he disappeared nikki gets up and he's like i know what i must do montage (laughs) heavy piano comes down (laughs) today is approaching you give it your best you gotta reach your prime (laughs) 
That's when you need to put yourself to the test and show a passage of time. We're gonna need a montage. Montage! A sports training montage. Montage! Even Rocky <laughs> had a montage. Montage! <laughs> Showing Nicky training his. tuning his guitar hard. Breaking strings. A string has to break. I was gonna just say. Yeah. And 30 guitars. <laughs> guitar after guitar. <laughs> Just breaking them all, and then Nikki and karaoke bar rocking the fucking crowds, and then some push-ups. Unfortunately, Why not? unfortunately, this montage was actually three years long. <laughs> Nikki is now eighty-five years old. <laughs> Time doesn't work the same in this realm. And then the llama returned to his home, his home planet, Llama Dama Namek. Checks out. Obviously, I've been there. I know. It's rough. But that won't stop Nicholas. Oh yeah, his last name. Was also Cage. (laughs) He's great descendant from the famous actor, Nicolas Cage. Just so you know. (laughs) Wouldn't Nicolas Cage be his descendant? Don't get into facts. (laughs) Don't check that. Are you really going to tear apart my story? I'm not. It's a story, dude. He's the original Nick Cage. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, shit. Dude. So after another year of traveling in a space shuttle, this is a long story, dude. I had to cut it down a lot. <laughs> Trimmed off the fat. <laughs> Don't ask, okay? Okay. He built the fucking space station Holy himself. Holy shit. They didn't have that technology. He built it. He started NASA. He finally arrives to Lama Nama Namek. <laughs> Nikki steps out of the space pod. Lama man, I'm here for revenge. You killed my lady friend, and I'm here to kill you. Out of the shadows, Lama Man steps out. I've killed all these 3,000 people. Be more specific, he says. Nikki jumps up and smashes him in the face with his 14 string guitar. Nice. And it's like all slow motion. You see the teeth chattering. Lama Man hits Nikki. Bam! Sending him right through some mounds. <laughs> Nikki licks the blood off his lip and smiles as he pulls out his green pick. Which shines off the three moons and strums, and then the mountains crumble to pieces. <laughs> Lama looks up. Nine thousand? That's impossible! <laughs> As he crushes his scouter, which he always had on him. Like, well, I didn't mention but, it earlier. Yeah, but, like, but he always had on him. Look up a picture of him for And price. they aren't cheap. <laughs> no, they're really expensive. <laughs> It's kind of like how VCRs were like really expensive before VCRs were a thing. <laughs> exactly. Then Nikki strums again. <clears throat> we're living together. Mm. But still it's farewell. Mm. And maybe we'll come back to Earth who can tell. I guess there is no one to blame. No one blame. We're leaving ground. Will things ever be the same again? It's the final countdown. You know the rest. (laughs) And just like that, the Llama Man was destroyed. Nice. (laughs) With rock power comes rock responsibilities. As Nicky stepped back in onto his spaceship, he took one final glance back. You may be a god, but I'm a rock god. And then the door closed behind him. Perfect timing. The end. Post credit scene. <laughs> all the molecules start to form back no! together. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> And stands in the great distance, the llama man. He's a, he's as the world. sky turns Like, dark green. (laughs) He looks up. We will meet again. (laughs) The end. That was an amazing story. Thank you. That was only fucking, like, 15 minutes. (laughs) Take a time, folks. We're here all day. Um, some, Some notes about your story that I loved. Llama hybrid? Perfect. That was fantastic. It's a llama human hybrid. Llama human hybrid. See how it rolled up the tongue? Llama human hybrid. Llama human hybrid. That was a good story. That made me giggle a lot, actually. Um, Thank you. I didn't name this story, but using its content, I'm going to call it 
The Very slippery excited. nipple. I don't think anyone's actually like... Who cares? <laughs> no, I don't think anyone understands how excited I am to hear his stories. Like, I get like, <laughs> like really excited when we do this. <laughs> To actually hear these stories and just how, like... I put so much work into my stupid <laughs> stories. Okay, okay, let's go from the beginning. <laughs> oh, I was worried you are going to start on page six. I usually do, which is the problem. <laughs> Flashback ten minutes before that. <laughs> Back to page one. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> what? Nine thousand! Vegeta! <laughs> alright, alright, so this story is called Slippery Nipple. There are three motherfuckers in all of Fishy Nipples who know how to party, and luckily, they were all gathered at the Sticky Nickel enjoying a nice cold <laughs> brew, nickel. talking about the days of old, Thomas Domingo, Alfred Rudeltoot, and Lenny the Snail. Yeah, we're all laughing, knee-slapping, yes, even Lenny the Snail, who is not actually a snail. He's a grown man who just happens to be a slow eater, which in turn donned him the nickname Lenny the Snail. Thomas turned to Lenny and made a a remember when face, while with both hands... (laughs) What? (laughs) What did that kill? A remember when face? Like, you know, like... (laughs) That's a face you can make! (laughs) No, the joke I wrote in here! He just wrote that! (laughs) Alright, alright! Fucking off to off to the tracks fast, folks. Off to a stellar start. Thomas turned to Lenny and made a Lenny remember- Game Boy slept with your sister face. Oh, that's weird because that happens in the story. <laughs> Does it actually? Well, we'll get there. <laughs> Thomas <laughs> turned to Lenny and made a remember when face, <laughs> while with both hands made a gesture that suggested he was humping and thrusting whatever imaginary thing his hands were displaying. <laughs> in actuality, he was showing the boys just how big he wanted his next chastity belt to be. <laughs> Alfred then turned to Lenny, uh, as if all at once they remembered something super sad. No words were exchanged as they all toasted their drinks. <laughs> Flashback a few weeks earlier. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, get on with it. The boys are all <laughs> the boys are all remembering their friend who was recently killed in a freak accident. And we mean a freak accident. Joey was mangled by a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the freakiest creatures in the realms. The boys, one night, were all drinking. Afterwards, they decided to walk home and be safe. They came across a goblin and a weird-looking slime ball. Being drunk and feeling free, Thomas says to Joey, Bet your cock ain't as big as that horrible-looking goblin! (laughs) Ha 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 ha! Thomas said to Lenny, the snail, who again, is not a snail. He's a human. He's a human. Uh... You know ain't nobody who nobody knows that my man Joey here has the biggest cock in the realm. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't no lie, yelled Alfred. (laughs) It was inside Lenny's wife last night. (laughs) Perfect timing, dude. Everyone in the surrounding area all went, oh! (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) It's written! It's real! Scanning. Everyone in the surrounding area was all like, whoa! It was nuts. A guy climbing a tree, some joggers, a slime ball, and all of Alfred's boys. The joke was lit, fam. (laughs) We're really really keen on the word lit, fam, apparently. (laughs) But what's not a joke is contagious cerebral fungus. Ooh. Yep. Joey that gave is that. Not a joke. Joey gave that to Lenny's wife, oh. and that stuff never goes away. It stays on your brain. <laughs> As they called that, the whole <laughs> sleeping with the wife just look. So again, being drunk and feeling quite confident, Joey whips out his massive human cock and is all like, "Yo, you yucky goblin! Looky here at my sweet man treat." <laughs> then he moves closer to the goblin and is all like, "I love you, man. <laughs> I'll I'll never forget you, man." Man, you uh, you you get me, man. And then, in a basic act of broship, he puts his arm on the goblin. The goblin, not being fond of being touched by humans, was also quite allergic to them. He s- <laughs> he snapped upon being touched and broke poor Joey's neck. Oh, Joey! And his arms. And and his spine. <laughs> okay, he mangled him. The <laughs> goblin and his slime ball friend ran off, but the damage was done. Obviously, he broke every bone in his body. Yo, bro, get up! Your mom's here! Alfred joked. <laughs> Lenny shook a beer and tossed it at him. The can hit his head and burst <laughs> open, getting some of that sweet, delicious brew in his mouth. The three men all cheered, This guy! <laughs> and then they all chugged a beer. Flash forward two weeks. <laughs> Poor Lenny. The gang is gathered at the funeral of their dear friend. The reception is beautiful. 
There are flowers everywhere, and everyone is wearing their Sunday best. There are like 30 bangable chicks here. But the boys were on their best behavior. They could have slayed all these beautiful (laughs) she-dragons. But their hearts weren't in it. Neither was their boners. Oh, yeah. They were in mourning. It's a sad day when your penis is in mourning. Yeah, a lot of funerals happen in mourning. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) The boys all looked down as the preacher walked up onto the podium. Dearly beloved, he began, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of one Joby, Joby, of one Joey Abraham H., who lived a short life, uh, who lived a short life as it was taken from us too soon. It was this man's wish to be buried with his favorite skateboard, a pack of zigzags, (laughs) and a huge bag of weed. The whole crowd looked around as the pastor said these words, exchanging looks like, Wow, what a cool dude, and oh, what a stupid kid. The pastor continued. It was also the young man's dying wish that should he die before his time, I was to read this passage. The elderly man reached into his Mickey pocket and produced a pair of those old people glasses they always oh, seem to like have. Oh, small, right? Yeah, yeah, like they're little like little baby ones. ones. They get to squint when they're reading. He focused <laughs> his eyes and read. Winter is here again, oh lord. Haven't been home in a year or more. <laughs> I hope she holds on a little longer. Send a letter on a long summer, summer day. day. Made of silver, not <laughs> of clay. I've been running down this dusty road. Then out of nowhere, the casket began to shake and rattle oh. and glow with the heavenly light. As a choir, out of nowhere, began to oh sing. Oh my god. The wind. The sky keeps on turning. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. Wheel in the sky keeps on turning. <laughs> <laughs> then from the heavens, a bolt of lightning came down. A bolt struck, of lightning. A bolt of lightning came down and struck the casket, and it exploded open. The smell of weed filled the area as a giant toke of smoke erupted from the casket. Oh shit! As it formed and emerged. <laughs> It emerged Joey doing a sick backside 180 kickflip oh, and turning... He's so in, fucking cool. And then turning it into an inward heel flip. Oh! He landed it smoothly and rolled on past his boys and said, These guys! <laughs> they jumped was out he of... still mangled or is he like oh, no, standing he, up? He's normal now. He's, he's totally <laughs> fine. His back's all like, These guys! <laughs> they jumped out of their seats and ran over to him, slapping high fives and low fives and slow fives and everyone favorite. Butt fives. But, oh, but or as we butt. call it in the West, slap ass. Slap ass. <laughs> slap ass. Flash forward slightly two more weeks. <laughs> Joey gets killed by another goblin. Oh my <laughs> fucking. <laughs> the narrator then looks to the camera and winks. I don't think that's the last we've seen of Joey. <laughs> that's the last we've seen of Joey. <laughs> post scene. they never saw Joey again. <laughs> Flash forward two more weeks. Now we're back to the beginning of the story. <laughs> we're back at the main part of the story. Oh my god. The boys all pay their tabs and shake hands as they leave the tavern. All sauced up, Thomas moves uh, his loot from his back uh, of his hands and begins to pluck some cords. He, as he walks home, my name is Thomas Domingo. My body looks like a dingo. When I go out on Sundays, I play. I play only one game. You guessed it. Playing go. Connect four. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up with your shitty power cords! Yelled a voice from the forest. Huh? Said Thomas Domingo. <laughs> out of the forest crawled a tree imp who kind of looks similar to Matt Damon. Those goddamn cords are sloppy, and they're terrible. Here, let me show you. The imp grabbed the lute from Thomas and began to play a melody that was soft to the ears. Holy old fuck! You cut off the dead boy's noise! Another voice (laughs) from the woods emerged. Another slightly bigger imp. Here, let me show you how we play the lute. Then he pulled the lute from the other Matt Damon looking imp. Then the imp played an even softer melody. Does this imp look like Matt Damon too? They all look like Matt Damon. I mean, all tree imps look kind of like Matt Damon. Okay, so. Uh, This imp played an even softer melody, which made all the deer folk in the woods wet in their their deer jeans. Ah, who's playing that sounds like walrus is fucking? Screamed another slightly taller tree imp. What the fuck is going on? 
going on? Shrieked Thomas Domenko as he ran off. The end. Or is it? post credit scene. <laughs> Told you I wrote one in here. <laughs> the zombie corpse of Gro- Growy. Joey grew up to be an infamous skateboarder that we know today as Tony Hawk. Oh, gross. <laughs> who would help to fight for equal rights the world over. Alfred went back to his home. Sorry. <laughs> Well, yeah, he would fight for equality rights all over. Alfred went back to his home in the sky, where he reunited with his mother uh, and his mom's ex-boyfriend, Lenny the Snail. Finally becoming a snail, uh, had m- many some... Wow. Holy fuck, can you read it's, this? It's all really tiny, because I was really excited to write this. Uh, his mom's ex-boyfriend, Lenny the Snail, finally became a snail and had many same-sex snail lovers. Ew. <laughs> it's a really big tongue twister. Uh, and as for Thomas, you guessed it. Super gay, gay also. also. <laughs> Finn. That's my story, bro, and I'm sticking to it. I'm still gonna say the best part was when he gave him that. <laughs> you know when, look. <laughs> Remember when, face. Remember when, face. Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> so did he fake his death just to have a kick-ass funeral, or did he actually die and then just get resurrected when he... Lay out some dope lyrics. He's a he's a mortal. He does that kind of stuff. Um, I want to be really real with you. We've been kind of loud during this past half hour, right? Yeah. Look over at my dog. He's sleeping. He's out cold. He's fucking done. <laughs> so does Tony Hawk? Did you talk to Tony Hawk? Like this one? Well, yeah, I collaborated with him. Okay, did you get like the facts from him? Oh well, he was the one who originally wrote all that stuff, right? So he came to you and was like, "I want my publish my memoir." I, I have some scribbles. Okay. Turn it into a legend. And okay. I said, "Tony Hawk, you're already a legend, bro." Yeah, if you didn't know us right now, do a do a Christ Air. That thing's really cool. So he did a Christ Air and he know. ascended to the heavens. Yeah, well, he he's up there with John Legend, <laughs> who is actually John Mayer, but he's a legend. In he's his a own legend. Right. You got it. That, Only legend. That's canon. All right. Any other questions? Or are we pretty do much? Any all... questions for me? No, I think we're done. I apologize for all the singing I did. No, don't apologize. I say not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. If you don't like it, you can leave or we'll, stay. We'll wait. Go ahead. Do you hear that? That bong come off the guitar? Bong. They can't hear that. Bong. Okay. I get. Oh, I guess I'm the fucking idiot. I'm, oh, I'm fucking late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today's episode of Creative Control. And don't forget to have your cat spayed or neutered. That's a thing that they said on the show once that I watched. And I just really wanted to let my dad know I love you. And I really wanted to let my cat know I'm sorry I didn't feed you before I left. And I'm pretty sure I left my garage door open. I haven't been home in two two I, years. Oh fuck. Dad kids? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye.